हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज़ मी जसनीत कौर इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स ऑफ फिफ्थ चैप्टर दैट इज़ फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ बट बिफोर गेटिंग अ हेड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन यू कैन प्रेस दी बेलाइकन एज वेल students before watching this video i would recommend you to go through all parts of this chapter to check out the playlist of the same chapter click on the description box below so without wasting time let's begin with our very first question that is define food spoilage physical chemical and biological factors subject to cause deterioration in foods this decaying of foods associated with spoilage ways of spoilage could be loss of flavor loss of texture discoloration of food and loss of nutritional value in foods which further makes it unsafe for the human consumption the next question is about how does food processing help in minimization of waste so after the bulk production of foods foods can be further converted into various preserved items that can help in minimization of waste example excess production of apples can be used to make apple jellies apple jams apple chips apple cider and other such related food stuff moving on to question number 3 classification of foods on the basis of perishability perishability means things which are subject to decay or spoil we divide this into three categories perishable foods semi perishable foods and non perishable foods semi perishable foods are those foods that spoil quickly within one or two days example can be milk curd fresh and meat semi perishable foods can last for 1 to 2 weeks in this we can include the example of fruits and vegetables root crops can be included in this like onion and potato which can last for around 2 to 4 weeks and last one non perishable foods these are the ones that generally last for 1 year example grains like rice wheat pulses and oil seeds moving on to question number 4 relationship between food processing and food preservation in simple words it can be understood like for preserving foods we have to process food first different forms of processing techniques can be used for food preservation question number 5 talks about the comparison between preserved and manufactured food in the case of preserved foods the method of preservation do not change the basic characteristic of the food item example frozen peas and frozen vegetables or dehydrated peas or dehydrated vegetables whereas in manufactured foods the original characteristic of the raw product are lost and some basic method of preservation are used generally with ingredients like salt sugar or oil or even chemical preservatives example of this can be jams jellies pickles marmalades squashes papadwadis etc in the question number 6 we will talk about the disadvantages of preservation in general preservation of foods leads to loss of lot of nutrients excess of additives leads to more calories in foods and chemical makes the human cells grow rapidly addition of sugar salt and fat to achieve better conservation leads to many diseases like diabetes and hypertension moving on to question number 
In this, you need to highlight the importance of food processing and preservation. So it increases the availability and convenience. It ensures food safety, increases shelf life. Through fortification, personalized nutrient can be added. Preserving nutritional quality, foods which have high chances of spoilage can be converted and utilized into more useful, concentrated, shelf-stable and palatable foods. Moving on to question number 8, it talks about the scope of food processing and technology after class 12th. So one can definitely pursue short-term certificate courses, diploma courses, BSc or MSc in home science for catering management and many universities offer graduate and postgraduate courses specialized in food processing and technology. Question number 9 talks about various methods of preservation. These can be baking, drying, freezing, pickling, canning, fermentation and preserving in oil. Moving on to the last question. It is about the classification of foods on the basis of extent and type of processing. It includes minimally processed food, preserved foods, manufactured foods, formulated foods, food derivatives, functional foods and medical foods. To know more about each of these questions in detail, I would suggest you to watch all parts of this chapter. Links of this chapter is mentioned in the description box below or you can click on the i icon on the top right corner of your screen. I will get back to you with more questions and answers. Till then, do like this video and press the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned.